ECM knows what's important to the purist, which is why they created the Puristica, a single boiler machine designed for those chasing purely excellent espresso. Unlike all other machines by ECM, it doesn't include a steam wand, which leaves more room for details that matter to your shot of espresso, such as the built-in PID and expansion valve adjustment knob. We're sure many questions are floating around about this adjustment knob. Why did ECM put it on the front of the machine? How do you use it? And how does it affect your shot of espresso? Hi there, I'm Julia, a technician at Clive Coffee here to show you how to use the ECM Puristica espresso machine and its new features. The expansion valve in an espresso machine sets and regulates the pressure to the group head. It diverts any excess water based on the set pressure back into the water reservoir. Typically located on the inside of the machine, expansion valves were not so easily accessible until now, thanks to the new design by ECM. The industry standard is nine bars of pressure. Brewing coffee under pressure is what makes espresso, espresso. On the Puristica, you can adjust the expansion valve between eight and 12 bar. Typically, you'd make adjustments to an expansion valve as the machine ages or to mitigate coffee or grinder issues. But don't get me wrong, I am not saying it's okay to use old coffee or a grinder unable to produce grinds fine enough to build pressure at the group head and crank up the pressure using the expansion valve to solve the problem. Though theoretically, yes, you could. Just make sure all your tools are working for you. In a perfect world or for a perfect shot, the pressure gauge will read about nine bar when a back flush disc is in the portafilter. This confirms that the pump, in combination with the expansion valve, is producing nine bars of pressure and functioning properly. When it comes time to pull a shot and your coffee is too old, too coarse, or your dose is too low, your pressure at the group, reflected on the gauge, may drop. However, everything is working properly. Remember, you just checked it with a blank basket. If you have your machine set to nine bar and dial in your coffee accordingly, you're set to experiment and use pressure as a means to change and play with coffee extraction. The higher the pressure, the greater the extraction. If you lower your machine's pressure, you'll reduce extraction. Baristas use changes in pressure to pull different flavors from coffee. Adjustments on an expansion valve shouldn't be confused with pressure profiling, which is when you change the pressure at the pump while pulling a shot. Machines that are able to do this, like the GS3MP or a Slayer, for example, have pressure profiling devices or different pump types. An expansion valve isn't intended to be a part of the everyday workflow, but can be a good tool for experimenting. When you're ready to make an adjustment to the pressure using the adjustment knob, place the blank basket into your portafilter and insert it into your group head. Lift the brew lever to engage the pump, then slowly move the knob clockwise to raise the pressure and counterclockwise to lower it. Once you reach your desired pressure, displayed on the gauge, lower the brew lever. There are other variables to play with that impact coffee extraction, such as brew temperature that can be adjusted through the PID and your espresso recipe. If you have any questions about the ECM Puristica, expansion valves and pressure profiling, leave your questions below. Thanks for watching.